This training video illustrates Core Valve's proprietary step deployment procedure for percutaneous aortic valve replacement. The Medtronic Core Valve system is uniquely designed to provide full valve function prior to complete deployment. Note, this animation is intended as a training supplement to the Medtronic Core Valve system training program and is not meant to replace the training program or the instruction of a Core Valve clinical specialist and proctor. Before we begin, let us go through and confirm proper setup and configuration of all instruments and confirm that the patient anatomy is ready for the Medtronic core valve system. Make sure the patient's ACT level is greater than or equal to 200 seconds. Confirm that the super stiff guide wire is contoured to the inner cavity of the left ventricle. Confirm that the graduated pigtail catheter is positioned properly in the non-coronary cusp of the aortic root. Confirm that the camera is positioned in the ideal annular viewing plane as predetermined earlier in the procedure. Insert the Medtronic core valve system into the 18 French introducer and advance to the descending aorta while maintaining strict fluoroscopic surveillance of the extra stiff guide wire. When crossing the aortic arch, it is critical that the second operator controls the guide wire and prevents it from moving forward. Without proper management, the guide wire will move forward, possibly causing trauma to the left ventricle. Advance the catheter through the native valve. Note, during initial crossing of the valve, it is possible to have an unacceptable drop in systolic pressure. If systolic blood pressure drops below an acceptable level, withdraw the catheter into the ascending aorta and ask the anesthesiologist to increase blood pressure. Position the catheter tip into the LVOT and confirm proper camera angle by visual inspection of the radiopaque marker. If the marker appears as a straight line, proper camera angle is achieved. If it appears as an oval, consider repositioning the camera until orientation lines up with marker. Perform an angiogram. Confirm that the pigtail catheter is still within the non-coronary cusp of the aortic root. At this time, visually identify the distance between the base of the aortic root and inflow edge of the valve frame. Now, let us take a closer look at the crimped valve. Note the radiopaque contact points. Counting from the inflow edge of the frame, optimal placement of the valve is the shaded area between the first and second contact point implanted within the aortic annulus. After valve placement has been established, confirm proper guide wire pressure on the inner wall of the left ventricle cavity. After attaining optimal guide wire position, the second operator should slowly turn the micro knob and begin to deploy the valve. Due to hemostatic forces, as the outer sheath is withdrawn, the valve will advance into the left ventricle. For this reason, it is important that the first operator pull on the catheter in concurrence with valve deployment. Perform an angiogram. Valve can either be advanced or withdrawn as long as annular contact has not been made. As the inflow aspect of the valve starts to flare outwards, monitor valve position under fluoroscopy. Note, once annular contact is made, the frame cannot be safely advanced into a lower position and the force required to move the valve into a higher position becomes noticeably greater. So careful assessment of frame position relative to the annulus is highly recommended for optimal implantation. After evaluation of valve position is achieved and adjusted at this stage, continue to deploy the two-thirds deployment. Note, during this stage, the blood pressure will drop. It is important not to stop deploying until blood pressure rises to normal parameters. Stop deployment and perform an angiogram. Target placement is represented by the highlighted line being lined up with the bottom of the aortic root. The shaded areas represent an acceptable implantation zone for the valve. If the valve is positioned low, carefully pull the catheter to reposition the valve. When satisfied with angiogram, continue to turn the micro knob until both frame loops disengage. Note, it is critical that you confirm that both loops have disengaged. Failure to do so may cause inadvertent movement of the valve from its intended position. Withdraw the catheter into the descending aorta. Close capsule and recover entire system.